Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns and as always the way I start these videos is by asking you to remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel helps grow our channel. Costs you absolutely zero. You don't have to click the bell and you'll never hear from me even. But while you're here, if you could subscribe that would seriously help what we're trying to get accomplished. Also, don't forget to look in the upper right hand corner right now and you will see a link to our latest giveaways playlist and you'll be able to check that out and get yourself entered in any of the latest giveaways going on here at the channel. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and start talking about our review for today and that's going to be the Full Speed Tiny Leader. This is a 75mm plastic and carbon fiber mixed whoop and it's using the Cadex F2 camera which is a piece of crap, we'll talk about that later. 40 millimeter props, 1103, 11,000 kV full speed branded motors. We also have the full speed FSD 408 stack. That's the flight controller and the eight amp ESEs. We are also having this uh, TPU that uh, they have put together for us as a canopy. We have our XT30 connector and this right here, I'm using FR Sky, and this is the full speed receiver. And it is an FR Sky receiver, but it is a full speed branded receiver. Um, I meant to do this review in both 2S and 3S, but the situation is that when we get this kit, something very, very critical is missing for it. Now, most of the hype about this was about the 3S capabilities, right? But right here, we've got our mount. And this mount here that comes with it only fits 2S. And you get a 300 mAh 2S battery with it. I'm using this Beta FPV, but where's the 3S mount? You know, uh, it, it doesn't fit here, Lewis. What's the deal? You didn't send one with it? And now what am I supposed to do to show 3S? Now, as I mentioned, there are a couple few little things left in the box too. You get a couple stickers, at least I did, and a LiPo battery, which is a 300 milliamp battery, and it is an HV battery, so you know, at least the one I got, so slightly different than your standard battery, and it's a little bit of the longer version. Here is the Beta FPV 300 milliamp hour battery, and it's a little bit shorter as you can see, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the, just the standard battery to give you an idea of what it's gonna be on standards. Cause not too many people I believe have HV if it's a 2S300, uh, at least not that I've seen. I haven't really seen very many HVs of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one for it. Now, like I said, I had planned to show you two and three S, but I just simply can't. My printer is down at the moment. It has blown its brain and I have a new printer coming in. So we're just gonna have to, Unfortunately, wait till that comes in guys and I'll print one up and we'll be back with a 3S version of our flight footage on this guy. But uh, I do want to address some things as far as there has been a few difficulties out there with folks. People have had a board burn up here or there, an ESE burn up here or there. Uh, and the words kind of being spread as if like this is like a plague amongst this little quad and it's not. And I, and I totally get it. I've been one of those people that have bought something, have it come in all the way from China as you're waiting to have it blow something up. But as far as I know, Lewis is making good on anyone who had a problem like that and sending them the parts to repair it. Um, it just happens. That's what happens. You got to remember, we were pressuring him to put these things out, put them out, put them out. Where's my copy? Where's my copy? Where's my copy? And when you rush people, sometimes it causes problems. I don't have an issue. As far as I know, Albert Kim hasn't had any issues. Um, I don't think uh, I don't think Nick Burns had issues. There's a lot of people on Facebook that hadn't had issues. So it's not a plague. Don't be scared. Um, these things happen in this hobby. It's electronics. Expect it. Now let's go ahead and jump into the flight footage. This is on the 300 2S battery, the Beta FPV one I was telling you about. And the first things first, the camera is garbage, as I mentioned, as you can see. Uh, something about the light sensors in the F2 are just horrid. I have uh, checked other videos to make sure it's not me. This is just what this camera does. Uh, it's a shame. Uh, the S2 is way better than the F2, and I wish they would have gone with that. Uh, you may have to think about having a camera ready to switch this out with. I have actually some S2 is coming and that's the first thing I'm going to be doing is getting this camera out. And it was only, you know, this and, and as I mentioned, not having a 3S strap and that could be, or a holder, 
then that could just be you know he was trying to get these things out the pressure was seriously on and facebook and everything people giving lewis hell about you know where's the pre-order and you just collected our money and you know when we do that to these manufacturers guys it it makes them put out stuff that that they're rushing um to get out and i believe the best move would be to stop doing this pre-order stuff i i think these manufacturers need to stop doing this pre-order thing it's just i think it's bringing them more more trouble than it's worth but just my opinion on that maybe they'll listen maybe they won't but flies great really good characteristics um pretty damn fast in my opinion uh really fast actually and i can't wait to see what it does on 3s as well because if it's doing uh this kinds of speeds in 2s it's really gonna rip in three uh didn't get hot didn't do anything like that that i could feel i i mean the board itself sure but uh, no hot motors no hot batteries no no weird um voltage type problems at all for me um like i said there has been some scuttlebutt about problems i have not encountered any of these yet and i don't honestly expect to but like i said uh the vtx eh, you know what i mean like it works and, and it wasn't debilitating in any way but if you remember my trash can video recently that was also running at 200 milliwatts and we didn't have some of the breakup that we're having in areas that this one is breaking up and remember i always sit in the exact same place in the corner of my front porch uh with my omni pointing at the house back behind us this brown one here and everything else facing forward so everything in gen and i use the same channel so everything in general should always be the same and help us understand uh what differences there are i, I know if you've seen my videos before it's like maybe you're like ah go somewhere else but my philosophy is apples to apples not apples to oranges so if i i take this out and fly it somewhere else a i don't have a reference point and b you don't have a reference point so i think this is the most effective way on micros for me to show you them so we can see you know like this area here with a trash can we didn't have any flickering so you can say hey you know obviously this is a weaker vtx but anyways we'll we'll let this just run out um i'm always want to hear your comments you know that uh you know thoughts on on ideas for the channel pick it on me whatever it may be into the side of the house into the tree for crashes durability is looking really good i think we've got a really decent one here guys so if you're interested as always look for the links below don't forget to like subscribe to the channel pass this video on and happy flying hey guys thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review if you want to see more interesting reviews on fpv related stuff take a look up here in the old right corner right there you'll find links to all the rest of my reviews if you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on youtube look over here don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin and if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel check that out right here thanks for coming don't forget to subscribe and happy flying